Welcome back y'all, it's your boy Sam at Flats Fever Fishing. I uploaded a video a few weeks ago, bass fishing. I uh, crushed a nice three pounder on a, uh, a Guggen Baits, a uh, trench hog. I got a lot of, a ton of messages, private messages, some guys hit me up and it seems like you guys really enjoyed that video, that style of video. So I came back again, I'm at that same spot. I'm fishing strictly with, I'm, I brought two rods, but I'm, I'm going to try and fish with just one. Um, I brought some chatter baits, some swim baits, and a couple of paddle tails. I'm going to try and just strictly fish on the paddle tails and chatter baits to see if I can get some of the bigger fish to strike. It's later in the day, I had to help my wife with the baby. It's hot. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to get at it. So the chatter didn't work. Such a big lake. It's kind of still learning how to fish this place. Let's see if. Let's see what I got in here. That looks good, Bandito. I'll probably kill him on the bottom. That's the thing, there's not much structure right here where I'm at right now, so it's, it's kind of hard. If they're, if they're here, they're going to be on the bottom, but. I'm not getting a reaction. Let's toss one of these guys on first, and then we'll try Bandito Bug if nothing else. Just got a little... I think these are biospawn grubs. I'm not sure who makes this little trash in here, but it's pretty cool. As you're pulling it through the wall, I'll show you guys in a minute. You're pulling it, this flicks, attracts them, and hopefully land you a strike. Let's see, let's try this first. Looks like it'd be a nice point for them to hide right here with all this cattail growing up. With this lake being so big, I'm looking for spots like this where it goes in. They have some cattails, you got some weeds growing in, maybe some rock. It's really where I believe they're going to be sitting to ambush because, I mean, with so much space bait goes everywhere oh my goodness nice I didn't have the GoPro rolling but I saw when he came up and smacked it yep just like I was saying guys All right. just like I was saying this big girl look at that thing it doesn't look that big on camera but like I was saying she was right here God almighty. It's not a giant. It's definitely a gorgeous fish. Belly on that thing. Nice. I'm solo today, so I'm trying to give you guys the best angles as I can. Alright guys, I'm zeroed out. Let's see what she weighs. I'm saying, I don't know, three maybe. Five seven. Gorgeous fish. Snap some pictures and I'll let her go. This fish is absolutely gorgeous. She is super clean. Really light, not dark at all. Kind of has a light green hint to her on the top. Looks like she's getting ready to go here. Let's walk her out to the deeper water. All right, beautiful. Here she goes, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, guys. A little midday update for you guys. Um, been fishing for about an hour. About an hour and a half prior to that first bass. Um, it's been a struggle. It's more so because I'm trying to figure out this lake. I mean, this thing is massive. 
and it goes way out that way and to the left out here and it curves around. But this place is huge. Um, there's big fish, obviously, like you guys saw. Nice, a little over three and a half pounder. Gorgeous, gorgeous bass. But just for reference, I'm tossing this little, I believe it's a bio spin. Little tail right here. Looks like a baby bass color, actually. Tossing that with a little, little spinner on the bottom right here. Just enough weight to keep it down and just, just pitching it right in front, like I was telling you guys. Look for dips, where it goes like that. That's really where they're gonna be. But, sorry about the wind. Sorry about the noise. This wind is horrible today. Let's see if we can get you another one. Let's see if there's another one right here where she was at. It's kind of interesting because she followed it all the way up to in front of these grass right here. She didn't hit it when it was out. So there's a small bass chasing bait right here. I don't know if you'll hit my jig or not, but it's pretty cool. Let's see if he's still there. There we go. Second fish, tiny. I mean, compared to that first one, he's tiny. <laughs> but he smoked it. God, look how beautiful they are. It's like a light green hint they have to them. They are gorgeous fish go number two the two fish I caught they didn't peck it they freaking smoked it that means they're very very aggressive out here I'm working this little guy as I'm, I'm retrieving it. I'm popping it once or twice and letting it fall and I'm just a steady retrieve. Usually on the drop. Not a big pop, just a little, just a little flick of the wrist. There it is. There it is, there you go. Just like I was saying. Picked it up right on the drop. Nice, not as big as the first one, but about two pounder. Smoked it. Just like I was just telling you guys on that drop. God, these fish are fat. Look at that belly. Eating really good out here. That is a perfect little specimen. There's nothing the matter with this bass, I'll tell you what. Day, be a big old 10 pounder. Gorgeous. I wasn't filming, I was texting my brother. I had a, had to be a little tiny bass. Came and destroyed the tail on my last one, so I'm putting a fresh one on. But the spot right here where I'm at looks absolutely juice. Kind of the same as last spot with that. We have those cattails right here. We have this little line. I'm gonna work it real heavy, real hard, see if I can get at least another good one before I move spot. Not a monster, but very nice fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Yeah, they're choking it. What sucks is that I only had two of these little rubs with me. I have the white ones, but I don't know if they'll work as well. God, they're not. I mean, there's monsters in here. Don't get me wrong. These aren't monsters, but they are healthy, healthy fish. What a gorgeous fish. Two casts. Two casts. Just now when I said I pitched it and it, something was right on it, 
I didn't see, but they snatched the tail. They didn't get the hook. <sighs> but I forgot I had these bad boys in my bag at the bottom. They should do very well. They, uh... Ah, they stink. I guess it smells good to them, but... Let's see, what is this? It's a Kitek. Custom Worms. 4.5 inch. There we go. We're looking for those bigger girls. This is what we're going to get them on. Should be... Should work just as well because it's ribbed. It's ribbed. It's got that nice paddle tail that thumps, so... We'll see. Never used these before. They're super oily. They're salty, so... That means it's going to be a nice soft bait. And once they hold on, they grab it, they're going to hold on to it. This tiny little baby. It's a shrimp. God, they're gorgeous. Big or small, they're beautiful. They got that beautiful light green tint. Oh man, they're real healthy. Gorgeous fish. Dinks all of a sudden. There we go. Tiny guy. God, these guys are hitting like freight trains. Oh, he's in the grass. Come on, get out, get out. I don't want to get out. There you go. Goodness. Look how fat this guy is. I mean. hook set. This guy smoked it like he was a three or four pounder. Look how fat he is. There's quality fish in here. I wonder if the big ones are a lot deeper right now because it's later in the afternoon or I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's only my second time fishing here but quality fish. Those guys are super aggressive. I'm just ripping it in just for fun. Walk, I'm actually walking back to the truck to get home. And you can see where he hit it the first time. I'm just ripping it just to be stupid and they're hitting it. Well, alrighty then. That was an interesting day. It was, uh, Surprisingly, I caught a nice amount of bass. I mean, they were back to back on that them little paddle tails. And that was Rapala towards the end. They were freaking really smoking it. Um, yeah, that was, that was wild. That was, that was interesting. I didn't get to hook into the five or six pounders like I wanted to. But, you know, I'm still learning that lake. It's a, it's a massive lake. It's huge, humongous. This is only my second time fishing it, and it's it was a learning curve for me, definitely. I uh, I stuck to my guns, though. I said I wanted to fish with only chatterbaits and paddle tails. Um, for the most part, I did, and it was pretty successful. They weren't very big, except for that one three, almost four pounder. He, she was she was gorgeous. The other ones were about two pounds to a pound, but. If you notice, their bellies are real round. They're beautiful, beautiful, healthy fish. Look at these guys. Old man's feeding. Anyways, people irritate me when they do stupid stuff like that. But, the... What was I saying? Yes, those bass were very healthy, very, very fat fish. Beautiful. I would like to come fish with some live bait and just come with somebody who actually knows the area, but whatever. If you guys fish this area before, if you guys know of anybody and you want to show me, show me the ropes, I am not against it. Hit me up, shoot me a message, and we'll go out.
that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys like it, please like, subscribe, share, share with your friends. If you guys don't like it, send me a message, tell me what I did wrong or what you guys would like to see. I don't know. But that's it. As always, take care, God bless, stay tight.